Well, at long last, it's time for the human race to wake up that they're not even here. For a long time, we've been thinking we were solid flesh and blood beings, but really, we're having the most wonderful, playful illusion. And most people find this very difficult to accept. And that's because we're all experiencing a very powerful amnesia that stops us noticing our real home, this astral heavenly world that's right around us, but we've managed to blank ourselves out from it. So that's why I put this book together, in order that people can read a manual that explains how you notice what's already there. Brilliant. So we've got, for the first time ever, by the sounds of it, a manual, kind of a how-to guide. So now you find yourself in a body, and it's like, what now? What kind of things have you tackled? What are the things that you've really taken on board and said, okay, how do we get this kind of practical things? Can you talk us through a couple of the things that you've done? Well, when we're doing this sort of work, we actually teach people to start noticing their guiding spirits. So we're all familiar with the idea you might have a dead relative or someone like that around helping you out. Mm. But in fact, there's a vast team of people who are assisting you. It's a bit like you're an astronaut, mm. and there's a ground control who see that you're in this artificial reality room, having a bit of a laugh, yeah. and for the most part, thinking you're all alone. Mm. And they work with you there, and what I've done in the book is to give you a set of instructions that enable you to start noticing that they're there rather more easily. A lot of people have been to meditation classes and done a lot of this and the, I don't know, what other kind of meditation practices and generally not notice very much. Mm. But what they didn't realize was they had to breathe a lot better. And when they were breathing, they would ground themselves better. And when they grounded, then they'd start to bring in a lot of this higher light. With that higher light, you begin to notice what's going on all around you. So the manual explains how to do this in very simple, cool, simple, practical ways. Great. And that's because I think one of the things that is really missing at the moment is practical advice, yeah. practical things and how to do things. So I'm really excited about getting that out there and, and helping you to get that out there as well. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit more about yourself. How did this come about? How did you come about to write the book? What made you um, feel so passionate about this? How did this all happen for you? Well, I've been spending many years helping people discover that if they put more spiritual aspects into their life, it made it in many ways much easier to have a more fulfilled and energetic earthly life. And after a while I got bored with explaining to them that there was a spiritual aspect and I thought mm -hmm. why not have a bit of fun and start with the spiritual aspect to begin with mm -hmm. and put something really eye-catching out there and point out to them that really they weren't even here at all. So this is how the book got started. You know, it's just, this is the way it is, folks, mm -hmm. and here are the instructions that you can check it out for yourself. It's not just me saying this or stuff you've heard rumoured about. You can really explore these places for yourself. So I got into that, and what I wanted to do in the book was to show people how they could apply these things to their practical challenges in life. Because so many people think they've got to escape their practical challenges in order mm. to develop themselves spiritually. But really, the opposite is the case. They need to engage with what they're doing here right now. Because everything you're doing in this life, you are doing because you wanted to. You mm. actually wanted to get into it. You came here to be on Earth, not to float around in the astral all mm. the time. You came here to live a life, engage with it, mm. and then notice that really you're this amazing new being. Brilliant. Now, on the cover of your book, and I can just show that, on the cover it says, you are not here. Yeah. And I love that because it got me thinking. And I thought, well, if I'm not there, where am I? Do you have an answer to that? I know it's, you've got to read the book to really get the answer, but yeah. if you're not no, here... No, you don't read the book to get the answer. You read the book to get the instructions. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so if I'm not here, if we're not here, where are we? Well, when you look beyond the veil of what's happening... You get the impression that you're a sort of light being, it's your ball of light, mm. and you're surrounded by other light entities in a dark place. This is what I mean, it's quite mm. strange. We, it's like you've come from very bright heavens and we've mm. come low into a dark place where the matter of physical reality is, and we just surround ourselves with that matter of physical reality. 
and then give ourselves a big injection of amnesia. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you start believing you're a real, breathing human being. So, when we're looking into this, you have to think, it's not uh, where I'm not here, it's where am I really? Okay. That's what we're trying to get people to notice, where you really are. And when you recognize that, it then changes a lot of your behavior towards your fellow human beings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, one of the things that you keep going on about is that we, are, we have to have a spiritual point of view to this. And I'm assuming that when you say spiritual, you're very much taking the um, religious side out of it, yeah. which, I'm, which I'm very for as well. Now, that spiritual side that you're talking about, are we talking about the, the concept of God? Is there a way of saying the spiritual is, is everything? And in your way of looking at things in, in, in here where you've got the manual, do you tackle that kind of quote, those kind of questions like who is God and what, what, what is his or her or those kind of things? Do you talk us through those a little bit? Well, to speak of the religious, the religious side, mm. uh, rather than I, myself, over many thousands of years, people have specialized in doing the spiritualist work. Mm. Uh, but very often, they've got less good at the spiritualist work and better at running organizations. <laughs> As they've got better at running organizations, it's had the side effect that they weren't really able to convey that spiritualist message very mm. well. And as a direct consequence, people weren't making the link for themselves. If you also look at recent Christianity, mm. uh, up until a few hundred years ago, you had to go to a priest in order to get a spiritual link. You weren't allowed to do it yourself. You weren't considered competent or capable. Uh, but at least now in modern times that's changing. They're saying people should make their own connections. Mm -hmm. Now, with religion, well, religion was just a way of putting it, how you get into that. Religion would have belief systems. I think you shouldn't have any belief systems based upon what someone else has told you. Your belief systems should be based upon what you know and you've been able to check for yourself. So that's why this book isn't really religious, because it doesn't mm. ask you to sign up to anything. It doesn't tell you to believe anything at all. It just says, here's what you can check for yourself, here's how to do it, and it's not that difficult to do. Wonderful. So, because it seems like for the first time, for, from what you're saying, is that um, having the, it's okay to go and have a look for yourself. Yes. It's okay not to believe what everybody else has told you to believe. Yes. And people are waking up to that, and, and I think they really need something like this to go forth and go, for the first time it's okay to ask these questions, it's okay to go and explore, yes. but what do I do with the things that I find? And I think that's what we're so excited about your work and about yes. your book and about having you come and have a talk to us at our next event on the 4th of yes. November. Um, where you'll be having a talk with us. Um, what are the things that you would like to, to have a talk with us while you're on the, on the stage in front of the people? Well, I'd like to give a message for the talk itself, and mm -hmm. that is what I really enjoy doing is connecting with people. I don't like to prepare a speech. Mm -hmm. I like to arrive there in the fresh, and when I show up, I'm looking at everyone, and everyone's brought their own team of guiding spirits with them, and interesting messages emerge, the people in the audience ask fantastic questions, and through the interaction and what we're going to discover that day, uh, we're going to have a few revelations that have not yet been specified. You know, they've got to show up in order to get this to happen. Good More people, the better. Good we're going stuff. to have a good day. Good stuff. That's great.